Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Mazni Alias from Multimedia University. We'll be presenting my article, title and empirical approach in driving performance in the Malaysia public service sector. This paper is also authored by Ms. Yusliana Ismail from the Ministry of Tourism, Art and Culture, Putrajaya. Also involved Dr. Adidapo Ojo from the Faculty of Management, Multimedia University, Cyberjaya Malaysia, and also Ms. Nur Farhana Liana Amiruddin, School of Medical and Life Sciences from Sunway University, Malaysia, for at the 38th IBIMA conference. In fact, the performance of civil servants has become the primary attention. In a recent report by the World Bank in 2019, the Malaysian public sector was recognized as average in accountability, equality and transparency. There is also a significant gap between the level of performance of Malaysia civil servants with performance measurement by the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development countries. It appears that the performance has deteriorated referred to the achievement of civil service efficacy in the year 2018 and their performance has started declining after the year 2014. Problem Statement Hartini et al. 2019 <coughs> postulated that the public service quality in the Malaysian public service is below expectations. They did not meet the citizens' expectations in delivering their services despite various transformation improvements being instilled. Even complaints have also been re received by the public due to their poor service delivery. And despite these issues which has been highlighted, limited studies have looked into the areas of performance among the Malaysian civil servants. The main objective of this study is to look into whether job satisfaction, work stress, employee motivation and organisational culture affect employee performance in the Malaysian public service sector and these are the main objectives. So in this study, we use two theories and one of the theory is expectancy theory, which uh, the, the concept looks into the temporary feeling involving the possibility of obtaining a specific result following a particular action. And uh, according to Vroom, job satisfaction as a pr practical orientation of individuals concerning their tasks and schedules. And even from also explained that motivation is an instrument that eventually shapes individuals or even teams to respond in the institute practices to reach organizational mission. This study also involved Warlock's cultural model theory. Malaysia Public Service Organization is also well known for having the elements of bureaucratic and supportive culture. And according to Tormina 2008, that bureaucratic culture is characterized by managers who prefer to have control over their employees rather than following flexible nature and behaviors. And according to Lau, he suggests that researchers to use this theory in studies involving public sector context. Uh, in fact, uh, Uge Kui applied this theory also uh, in employee performance study involving public sectors in Oman. Let's go for the concept of the variables used, the independent and dependent variables used. So this study used employee performance as the dependent variable. According to Riskina et al., she defined employee performance as a variable that contributes accomplishment of tasks at a specified period. And it's also interpreted as how an employee has done a job according to the expectation to get measurable and optimal result. And the concept of employee performance is consistently linked with the features of activity and the organization goals through the tasks and duties of the employees. So in this study, the uh, one of the independent variable uh, is job satisfaction. So we, can, we define job satisfaction as an expectation of accomplishing a given task based on the employee's desires from every situation. The concept is defined by Madani and Adam 2017. 
In fact, in his study in 2018, the result indicated that job satisfaction and performance are positively related to job satisfaction. Similar results has been found the association between job satisfaction and employee performance based on Ali, Al Ali et al. study and also Rosanna's study, which indicated similar results involving 209 employees in an Indonesian public sector. Therefore, the hypothesis involved in this study is there is a significant relationship between job satisfaction and employee performance among civil servants in the Malaysian public sector. Another variable that we use is work stress. Work stress is a state of pressure experienced by a person confronting the demands and barriers that affect emotional, mental and physical conditions in carrying out duties. Sina et al investigation of 170 admin staff in one of the public hospitals in Malaysia indicated that work stress influences job performance. Another consistent result uh, uh, involved 83 employees in a manufacturing organization in Indonesia indicated that there is an association between work stress and employees' performance. And the hypothesis is as follows. There is a significant relationship between work stress and employee performance among civil servants in the Malaysian public sector. Another variable that we use is employee motivation. Okay, it is defined yeah, as, uh, as uh, the concept. If we look here, it meant is individuals that are motivated to enjoy their work have better well-being. They can be very creative. For those employees who are motivated, they, they, are, they, they, they are more creative and more innovative. So research from Manik and Siddhartha indicates there's association between employee motivation and also employee performance. So uh, another research findings also indicate similar results, but located in Vietnam confirm the association of motivation on, on performance. So we come out with a hypothesis there is a significant relationship between employee motivation and employee performance among civil servants in the Malaysian public sector. The, uh, another, another independent variable that we use is organization culture and also organization culture. And, and uh, organization culture is defined as a culture that prioritizes consciousness in its work, always giving rewards rather than punishment, full of strength and encourage individual development. This is defined by Fakriza and Majid 2018. There's a study involving organization, culture, and employee performance indicating there is an association between organization and culture which implicates employee performance. Similar result has also been found by Zain Ul Abidin in 2020. The, his findings indicated that organizational culture predicts employee performance, and this study involved 152 public sector employees in Jordan. So the hypothesis is there is a significant relationship between organization culture and employee performance among civil servants in the Malaysian public service sector. So um, if we look into the research design, so this study is using a cross-sectional survey. So we distributed the, 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 the questionnaire, yeah, the survey among federal servants in Putrajaya only, in Malaysia. So the population of this study actually is around 1,600 civil servants employed in one of the ministries in Putrajaya. Yeah? So the workforce is in the mystery is the sampling frame. And um, we randomly collect uh, from the sample. The questionnaire. So, uh, due to the COVID nineteen pandemic, the online survey was involved, uh, which we found that it is more capable in reaching the workforce. Most of them are engaged in work from home practices, and uh, we use G power analysis to determine the sample size, with the results suggesting a minimum sample of one hundred and twenty one to one hundred and twenty nine, um, and uh, based on KG and Morgan. Uh, they mentioned that the sample size of 379, uh, which involved, which used in the study, is sufficient. 
measurement skills, um, all the skills were adopted from previous research study that has been used in employee performance studies. 10 items, employee performance skills from William and Anderson. 5 items, job satisfaction skill was based on Breffield. The 7 item skills for work stress was adopted from uh, perceived work stress skill, PWS, developed by McKee. And employee motivation, the instrument is from MOA. Finally, for organizational culture, we used from Vadi et al. 2002. So uh, we found support only for H3 and H4. Yeah. So the analysis indicated only two predicted employee performance. And the regression model also explained 48.6% of the variance in employee performance, F67.517, with a p-value of 0.001. So uh, discussion, uh, for discussion, uh, this study highlights the value of motivation as an, as an essential factor for employee performance. And motivation leads employees to be more diligent, increase the intensity of effort, and understand the organization objectives. In fact, motivation affects human behavior. As postulated by Room's jury, a motivated employee is likely to perform effectively, which implicates organizational productivity, development, and efficacy. And organizational culture was the second most significant predictor of employee performance based from the result from the regression. Zahari et al. indicated that organization culture could affect the organization members to do their jobs effectively in reliable ways. And um, in the study, we use Warlock uh, theories. So it indicated uh, it support the framework, in fact, yeah, because Warlock mentioned um, uh, in, in, a, uh, in in the public service sector, it is, it is a type of, it's, so the structure is more bureaucratic, innovative, and supportive cultures. So theoretical and practical implications, expectancy theory also indicated that employee will be motivated in certain way if they are rewarded appropriate and suggest, and we suggest that the management to identify what are the different strategies to motivate the employees in the Malaysian public service sector. And this can be done by having an engagement survey to further understand the issues in the organization. In fact, the management also could look into the organization with, by involving appropriate resources such as utilizing the right technologies or investing in a better tool or system to increase productivity and improve efficacy. A refresher course could also be conducted continuously to civil servants to highlight the organizational values and expectations that reflect public service values. The existing Malaysia government ability and the structure of the organization culture consequently encourage, encourage effectiveness and performance of the Malaysian public service sector. This explains the support involving Warlock's cultural model theory in their research framework. So what are the limitations and future research in the study? The model posited employee performance predictors involving job satisfaction, work stress, employee motivation, and organizational culture. The respondents used in the study are civil servants in a Malaysian federal public service department. The results is only limited to the public service sector and the findings could not be generalized to other sectors such as, manufact such as manufacturing. Future research could also include samples from other industries in the banking, manufacturing, education, and also GLC's industry. Fruitful avenue that, uh, that other researchers can look into uh, uh, are the variables which include workload, work-life balance, autonomy, and also training. Well, in this study, we also suggest using qualitative studies such as focus group could generate more findings <coughs> to explore <clears throat> on employee performance. So to conclude, this research examined the association between job satisfaction, work stress, employee motivation, and organizational culture among civil servants in one of the ministry in Putrajaya, Malaysia. The result concluded that employee motivation and organizational culture predicted the civil servants' employee performance. The management should focus on those factors, those two factors, to further develop the performance of employee in the Malaysian Public Service Department. So in this study, we uh, these are all the references that in, in this study. 
finally, I would like to thank everyone for listening to my presentation. Thank you and have a nice day.